Ugh. Hey, what is up, you guys? Um, as you can see by the title, I got sexually assaulted again. And this time even worse, kind of a little bit. Um, this time it happened with one of my, uh, like, classmates from beauty school. And basically, this is how the story starts. Um, so I started beauty school and the beauty schools around in my town are kind of expensive so I had to go to kind of a crappier, cheaper one. And basically, uh, they ended up moving like after the first month that I was there and, um, you know, I went to the old location, um, for like a month and at the old location, there was like no food around which is why they wanted to move to like kind of like a mall or whatever so we could like walk and get food while we're there and basically um you know he offered there's this guy this 40 year old guy he offered to like give me some food or whatever and i was like starving i was living in the hotel you know what i mean like if you watch my hotel video it happened around that time uh, not when I got sexually assaulted, but when he took me to get food. So he did, and I, I got in his car, and I was like, low-key, like, I was like, is this guy about to kidnap me right now? And basically, we went and got food, and came back, and it was fine. And, um, yeah. And then I found, I talked, when they moved to the new location, I talked to some other girl that just joined, about Jose and she's like oh yeah he did that to me too and I was just like thinking about it like oh yeah is he like kidnapping me right now but I came back and it was fine or whatever and I was like damn like he's done this like with multiple girls and stuff like that and nothing happened so I kind of started to trust him like a little bit you know what I mean and then um like he would do like like we would practice on each other and stuff like that and like even the school like recommended it one time like I was like oh I need a model to do a back facial and they're like oh you should choose him like let me get him to do it because he always volunteers even though he's just a freaking barber but like I said I'm going to a really crappy ghetto school because of the money is cheaper and so yeah um basically one day he wanted me to come to his house and I was like okay because like you know he like does clients at his house and stuff like that and whatever and I'm like okay and um you know I've got my nails done at people's houses it's kind of like a normal thing to be like home based because the rents be so expensive you know other places and stuff to rent um <coughs> so yeah and um basically i w went over to his house and i did not think anything of it i made sure my boyfriend know where i was and um if i didn't respond to call 911 like in an hour you know we give it respond in an hour to call 911. And so basically, like the ride over there was fine, which is why I trust them. Like I got no creepy vibes. The only time I got creepy vibes is when we were practicing on each other and he like dripped the freaking mask like on my back, like on my side boob. And so I was like, that was kind of weird. That's kind of but he asked, he's like, is it okay like, if I wipe it off or whatever and stuff like that? And I was like, yeah, it's because I don't want to wipe it off. But, so yeah. And, um, sorry, I'm just like playing my nails. And then after that, I'm at his house. And then, like, we're getting started. And it's normal for you to take off your bra 
when you're like you know having a back facial or like a massage or whatever or something like that and I took it off and he was doing it and then he's I had my shorts on I didn't have like panties on underneath because all my laundry was like you know dirty so I was just wearing shorts underneath my jeans because they were super baggy jeans and it was winter time so it wasn't too hot doing that and he's like do you want me to take off your shorts and like I had a miscommunication I thought he was just gonna lift them up or something like that because he's like oh I don't want it to get stained or whatever or something like that and um I was like you can just lift it up you know but then he just takes them fully off and I'm just like I automatically freeze I know it was a really scary moment and you know I might start crying like I was preparing myself mentally you know to like get raped and you know just for the worst to happen and you know, like what, what happened with my brother and stuff, it took me three years to come out and talk about this. This happened, this is new and fresh. This happened like one or two months ago. So it was very hard. It's very hard for me to talk about this actually and to get on here and film this video. This is the second time filming this because the first time it just wasn't it and so yeah i just froze mentally and i just was preparing for the worst because i was just in front of this man fully naked and you know he started like massaging me like really weird and like freaking like massaging my ass and stuff and like like getting caught on my coochie too you know like in circular motions i had to describe this shit to the police like and they're like what do you mean i'm like bitch like this you know <sighs> like in circular motions and stuff and like getting caught on my like coochie lips and then he like asked me to flip over and i'm not wearing a bra or anything and i just like freeze mentally so i'm like i just do what he says so like hopefully he doesn't like hurt me or anything like that you know women understand what i mean you know just in the moment you're like compliant because you're just like please don't fucking help kill me or like hurt me or anything like that you know so i flip over and he puts this like fucking blindfold thing on me and i'm just like fully naked my tits are out you know and he's like first massaging like around my boobs but not like on it and then he like goes lower to my like vagina and he's like do you want me to massage there i'm like no and he's like well you need to like you know massage there and to like stretch it and stuff bullshit fucking excuse that's a horrible excuse um and so he starts like going like this to like my fucking vagina like imagine this is my vagina sort of like my lips kind of like that and he goes like like this to it and i'm just like there like freely i'm like oh my god like i can't even believe this is happening and he had like oil too like i felt like i was in one of those like crappy porn hub videos like where they're like rubbing oil all over this girl and she's like just laying there you know it's probably like awkward as fuck to actually film that no woman actually wants that from like a masseuse so it's just like a perverted like fucking fantasy and then he like starts rubbing my clip 
and he's all like do you know the clit is the fucking like most sensitive part of one like bitch why the fuck do you think at fucking 19 i would not know that like are you doing this to fucking children you know what I mean? Like, I was like, no shit, I fucking know that. You know what I mean? Like, I have a boyfriend, I have fucking sex. Like, I fucking know that. You know what I mean? Like, it creeped me the fuck out how he would, like, dead ass, like, do this to a person that, like, would be so, like, you know, innocent, I guess, or, like, not know that. And I was like, yeah, I know. And he's all like, does it feel good? And I'm like, no. He's like, do you want me to use my tongue? And I'm like, no. And then he just does it anyways. And like, he's doesn't, he's like 40 fucking years old and he couldn't even find the clit. Like he was not on my clit at all. Like my clit was here. He was like way down it. Like at my fucking urethra. And I'm just like, oh my fucking God. Like they literally never fucking learn. They never fucking learn. Like, if a man cannot find the clit, like, he can just not find the fucking clit. Like, they don't ever fucking learn. This 40-year-old guy, this, like, freaking really old guy. Hold up, I'm getting a phone call. Call back later, bitch. Anyways. This 40, like, late 40-year-old guy is fucking sexually assaulting me giving me head and he could not even find the clit so anyways and then he's like i'm like you know that doesn't really feel good he's like you can like spread your legs wider and then also like i don't know if i was like ovulating or like it was right before my period but i was like wet and he like took some of the wetness and he like pulled my hand he's like you're wet i'm like bitch i am not fucking turned on like I cannot fucking help that. You know what I mean? And it's like, he, yes, like he rubbed all over my body. Maybe that sent some like signal down there, you know? Cause that's what I'm used to, like foreplay and shit. But I do not fucking like it. You are an old ass dude. You know what I mean? And so he probably thought that I fucking liked that shit in the moment. And then after i'm like you know that and like also he's like you can spread your legs wider i'm like i don't like my legs are like this <laughs> like barely fucking as wide as they need to be and he's like you can like spread them wider i'm like no mm, okay and after that he's like okay i'll stop doing it which thankfully and after that he comes up to my mouth and he gives me like a little peck and he's like that's a thank you kiss i'm like that don't mean it's okay you know what i mean they try and justify everything that they do and then he took off my you know blindfold and he's like okay let me give you some privacy address i'm like boy you just saw me but as naked like what is even the point of like even giving me privacy to change you know and also when i told him i forgot one thing when i told him like oh that doesn't feel very good he went back to my tits and he like fucking swiped them like like remember how i told you he didn't touch my boobs well then he did when i told him no like to stop giving me head anyways so after he was done i like freaking got changed and i was like i need to fucking call an uber like this is crazy also when i got changed he's like oh do you want to watch a movie i'm like no thanks i'm like who knows what else he would have fucking done you know what i mean and i call an uber and um like it was four minutes away and so while i'm like like waiting for it i'm just like killing time with him you know trying not to be conspicuous so i can freaking run away you know and it says it's zero minutes away and i'm like still in his apartment and so i'm like oh shit i need to get out and so i freaking go for his door and i'm like i need to leave right now thankfully it was unlocked thankfully it was unlocked 
I don't know what the fuck I would have done. I would call 911 and like hung up and be like, help me. Like, I am here. Like, and I'm held hostage. I'm fucking locked in here. And. Yeah. I ran for it after I ran out of his door. And I like saw the elevator, I saw the stairs, and I was like, the elevator's gonna take too long. I need to go downstairs. I went downstairs, I'm like, da -da 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 -da. like that is the fastest I ever went downstairs in my entire life. Oh my god, my eyelashes don't fucking stick for shit, bitch. Anyways. And I got out, and my Uber was not there. And I'm like, hello? Like, how am I supposed to escape? And his apartment was above a grocery outlet, so I fucking walk into the grocery outlet so I don't seem like a weirdo. You know what I mean? I just, like, fast walk in that bitch. And I go in, and I loop, like, all the way back around to, like, the entrance. And I'm just like there and I'm like calling my Uber. I'm like, bitch, where are you? And stuff like that. And like fucking calls her and doesn't like pick up and stuff like that and whatever. And then I'm like trying to get another one. I'm like, I need a fucking Uber like right now. You know what I mean? Because I don't know why it says zero minutes, but she's not there. And then right as it says that my Uber's there, he like fucking appears. And he's like, what's going on? You're making me feel bad. And so like I just like look up from my phone. And I, like, it was there, and I just freaking, like, turned the other way. And I just, like, walk fast to my Uber. And then she's, like, Uber friendly? I'm, like, yeah. And I get in. And then some guy recognized him. He's, like, hey, like, Jose, like, what's up? And stuff like that, whatever. That was his name, by the way. Anyways. And, um, basically... I get in my Uber and he's like looping around and trying to talk to my Uber. And freaking, she's all like, I don't even know why she answered because bitch, your girl, like, it's just Hispanic people. Like, they always talk to everyone. Do not call me racist. I have a fucking Hispanic boyfriend. I know what I'm talking about, okay? They talk to everyone and stuff like that. And basically, she was like, Uber friendly, like looking up from, like, undid her windshield. And He's just like, he went up to her and just like, went like that, like, whatever, you know what I mean? And just like, went back to his hotel and, I mean, not hotel, his um, apartment. And then she took me back to my school and I clocked out my school because I was clocked in. I left during school to go to this guy's house and I clock out and then I talk to the manager. I'm like, I need to talk to you like right now because I saw Jose come in. I was like, I need to hide from this bitch. So I'm like, it's an emergency, let me in right now. And she's like, okay. And <laughs> and um, I tell her what happened and she's like, oh, just don't talk to him anymore. And I'm like, I don't know. My beauty school is run by Asian people. And she's all like, you're naive and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. And so I start feeling bad. I'm like, oh my God, like, was I so stupid and stuff like that? Which I know that I am, you know what I mean? Like, and there's something I, I can, like, y'all can say how stupid and, like, I should have known the signs, like, down below in the comments. I can't take it back, though, and now I realize that, and I can just go forward and just, you know, not be so trusting of people, you know what I mean? And now I know, like, why the statistics shows, like, if you're, if you get sexually assaulted once, like, the likelihood of you getting sexually assaulted again is high and it's because you're trusting a people that should not be trusted because you're only fucking around creepy people so you think that's normal because i was like how does that even make sense you would think like you would like you know avoid that shit you know what i mean because you already been through that shit but it's like no like you're used to like weird people being around you and also a lot of people think like you know it's circumstances like that where it's like a stranger doing it no actually most sexual assault and most like creepy shit that will happen to you or like dangerous shit that will happen to you are from people that your family like you're related to or your friends people that you really know because it's easy target for them to get to you so anyways i gotta be less trusting of people now and i just went home 
and I met with my boyfriend and he said like the same shit. He was all like, you know, he was like being creepy with you. Like, why did you go? I'm like, excuse me. Like, you're one of the first people actually tell you like in fucking detail. I did not go in detail like um, with the my like school owner with the owner of the, my beauty school that I'm going to. I was, did not go in detail with her. I went in detail like the first time telling what the fuck happened to me with my boyfriend and like his reaction was like pretty shitty and don't worry we've had like a conversation about it and he like apologized for it but I was like thinking like I was the dumbest bitch ever like I was totally like you know like I forget what it was but I was like you know thinking like it was completely my fault like I was blaming it fully on me you know what I mean at this point and stuff and then um the next day I took a shower when I got home and uh so some of the DNA came off of me but the next day I went to the police station I was like I need to report sexual assault and um because this happened like a little bit farther away from where I lived I had to call that specific police station and so I was just on the phone telling them what happened and eventually I had to go there and give them my clothes and then I had to go to the hospital and they had to swab me to make sure that there's DNA which there was and so they had to swab my boyfriend's cheek to make sure like which one it was you know like there was two people's DNA but they had to make sure like this one's Jose's, that one's my boyfriend's, you know what I mean? And, um, like, basically, they found DNA, and, um, he has three charges on him, which first one is, like, you know, sexual assault, and then also, like, with inflicted fear against him, because he, like, blindfolded me, and like I was like scared and stuff like that you know what I mean like there was like fear along with it and then also uh rape charges because like I did not even know this which y'all might call me dumb for this shit but I did not know like giving head was like considered rape because like if it like the tongue like goes in between your coochie lips which like it would you know to get to your clit that's like going inside you that's like great you know what I mean and um so basically they like found all that shit and also when i was at the police station they made me call him and stuff like that and pretend like oh like i'm just calling you because like you know what am i gonna tell my boyfriend that this happened like that's like cheating and blah 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 you know what i mean to get him to talk or whatever because like if the police go and talk to them like he ain't gonna say shit and basically what he admitted on the phone is that he does this every fucking time with people so that's even worse and it don't look good on his side so yeah and now he's arrested because they notified me just like two weeks ago <laughs> that they finally arrested him even though i like fucking made this like police report like two months ago so yeah but he don't know shit i didn't let him know anything the only time i talked to him was when i talked to him on the phone with the police so yeah and um yeah so apparently he's arrested and it don't look too good for him as of right now and uh yeah so i'm just telling this because you know my channel is a place for like survivors to feel like I don't want to say like welcome but like understood here you know what I mean and so you know one thing I wanted to say is that it's sad but if you do get sexually assaulted again after being sexually assaulted as a child you know as a young woman a young attractive woman unfortunately it's very common and you know if you don't have anyone you feel like you can relate to or talk to you have me at least and you know i go through this shit all the time 
you know, like you saw in my other video an older man like asked to kiss me and now this older guy you know raped me i guess i've been raped um but it wasn't like you know in my vagina hole so to me that is like what raped meant to me and like what would have been like super fucking traumatizing but i technically have been raped and also like i've been groomed by older men that are like in their 30s like being into me and stuff like that and it's not okay and i get harassed all the time i get you know asked out all the time and stuff like every time i go out pretty much and that's why i've become that girl that like just clings on to her boyfriend because every single time i go out i get you know harassed i get attention like sexually or like you know romantic interest like involved with me or like sexual interest involved with me you know what i mean and it's scary as a woman and i'm a very sensitive person it's very scary the only reason why i don't break down and cry because of everything that happens to me is because of so much shit has happened to me already you know and more stuff's probably gonna happen to me get like because i'm in my prime or whatever or anything like that and it's just very weird it's a weird thing to go through but i know one day it'll end it'll end probably when i'm like you know in my late 30s 40s or something like that which i know like older men will like probably like still try that are super desperate but it won't just be like everyone in the entire world is like telling you how like beautiful you are and like oh are you single and like ooh, and stuff like that let me sexually assault you i don't care if you have a man you know they don't care if you have a man like they will like i don't want to say make you cheat but like you know make you like like do adulterous they're like doing adulterous things by like trying to get involved with a woman that's happily in a marriage or like not a marriage a relationship you know and even sometimes in a marriage too they don't care and i even told my boyfriend this and he's like yeah because like the reason they don't care too much when you're single is because like oh you could be fucking all these other guys i don't understand why so many men think when you were single you were fucking all these guys when i was single i was fucking no one anyways but when they think oh you're a man it's just the competition is just 1v1 so stupid and so that's why they always try and like get with you when you have a man i was like i didn't understand like how come when i had a boyfriend they were all up on me but when i was single they didn't want shit you know so yeah So yeah, and I know a lot of you guys are gonna call me stupid or whatever down below in the comments for this shit, but I had to make this video and I'm sorry it took me so long, but I just felt like I couldn't, you know, I couldn't move on with my channel until you guys knew what happened with me and stuff. And yeah. And I'm sorry if I seem kind of sad during this video or kind of drained. Like, even my face, you can kind of tell. And it's because I've been kind of going through things this week with my boyfriend and with this and stuff. Just been ongoing. But the good news is I'm going to be finishing beauty school this week. So I will not have to go there because... <laughs> Let me tell you, I did not go to my beauty school for a whole ass month. Like, I would just clock in and leave because even though he was done with his hours, like Jose, like, he recently, like, got done with his hours, which I didn't understand why the school wouldn't kick him out for doing that when he finished all his hours. Like, I understand, like, if there's, like, a contract and, like, he paid money so they can't kick him out until he finishes, but if he's finished, why not be, like, stop doing clients here, fucking leave. Like, you know what I mean? um 
And so I didn't go to school for like the whole month of March. And this happened in March. And uh, yeah, I just clock in and leave and stuff like that. And uh, now finally I'm done. Got my a thousand hours and I will do a vlog on like the last day of beauty school. So yeah. So yeah, that's my story time. You know, to all my survivors, you're not alone. And I hope you guys will just support me down in the comments. Like, I support you guys. And, yeah. I will see you in the next video. I love all you so much. Big kiss. Bye, guys.